this happened. I might as well just get this over with, I thought. The entropy end chase ended up being exactly what I was afraid it would be. A labyrinth level. All the other chases, although difficult, were extremely straightforward. You just had to run to the right and run to the left. But this took all the simplicity. There was no telling how to this level. This was its response. appeared on the screen. I stop I'm sorry! I'm sorry I insulted you! I didn't mean it! I didn't know things would get this serious! Please just let me go! If you let me go, I promise I'll never tell anyone or show the game on ever again! Please! And Red replied by saying this. This dialogue happened. Beam. And he then he slunk to the ground, burning and withering from the heat beam. I thought I had won, but something was wrong. Red was a sinking to the bottom. And I still couldn't move. Red was still alive. After his seeming defeat by Solomon, Red had reconstructed his body into his gigantic final form, transporting us to a blazing inferno in the process. It was reminiscent and started to become numb and unfeeling. But even as my vision was fading, I still tried to press the A button. Red surely was breaking one of the rules, but he must have thought that if he could kill me quickly then it would be too late for any consequences to matter. He would have won. He was wrong. Red's power was being challenged by an outside force. It prevented him from killing me. And when I regained my vision, I saw a familiar sight. Who are you? You are me. I What? How is that possible? I. Red told me that he killed you. It's true. He sucks in the if you can't stop him, you'll do the same But how will I be able to stop him now? Stop him! But there is one who can't. Try to release him from his grasp. Don't give up. I love you. Her words stirred something inside of me. I wasn't going to die like this. And I had more to fight for than just my own life. I had to fight to save Melissa and the world she inhabits. With her help, the he fifth the monster not. was Lost. finally unleashed. It was time to end this once and for all. We would take this damn hell spawn out of existence. Acacius was by far the strongest playable monster in the game. He had to be if we had a chance of surviving. 
His punch involved turning his hands into blades, which caused tremendous damage. He also had the ability to fire lasers from his face, as well as star-like projectiles from his hands. And even the ability to fly, much like Solomon. Instead, he could levitate in the air. Red had more than enough life to spare. In the end, this would come down to pure skill. And finally, with one final strike, Red was destroyed. joy streamed down my face and I broke out crying. I cried harder than I had in several years. Maybe in my whole life. All I had been through. All I had discovered. And now the game was coming to an end. But before she and the others left, Melissa had something to tell me. You have saved us. We are forever grateful. We'll be together again someday. Ich sag's nicht noch einmal. Los! Ich sag's nicht noch einmal. Los!